I'm Os Baldock here from Bad Music and we're here with uh, Melissa and Luke from White Horse. We just performed at the Folk Fest here in Vancouver, it was awesome. A lot of buzz going on about your music in Canada and the radio stations where I work. So, what do you think that is? What's different about your music that is catching uh, all the people's attention? I don't know, I mean, I before we were making records on our own and we were out touring and um, I think as soon as we came together there was kind of this magic element and um, I don't know, we, we feel it when we're making music, when we're performing and, so I guess it's just it's, it's translating, which is good. I also think that there's just two of us on stage, the band is just two people and yet there's a lot of music happening. Like there's drums and percussion and keyboards and guitars and bass and acoustic guitars and percussion. And sometimes our percussion is just pots and pans from the kitchen, kitchen utensils. And we sing through telephone receivers and we sing through normal microphones and we sing through vintage wide diaphragm condensers and we're running from instrument to instrument. And I guess that's unusual. Um, I mean, we do these things because we're, we're, we're recording little samples of music while we play. And then we're layering them and they become kind of yeah. larger than life. Um, so it's, it's a visual thing. And, yeah. um, but it's also a musical thing. Oh, absolutely. We come from a, a kind of a folk country blues tradition. And, when, and so people think that's what they're going to get from us because that's what they expect from our history. And then they see us live and, and we're doing all this stuff that doesn't fall into folk or blues or country and people are kind of scratching their heads going, I don't understand. And I think I hope that, that that's fun. That's a secret, eh? Yeah. Because you guys uh, are uh, um, successful singer-songwriters, in, in each on your own yeah. terms. And now you came uh, into this project and you make it like uh, something really cool and different. Yeah. And uh, Do you have any problems running together? Like, ah, no, sometimes. we should do this, no, we should do this. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. I, I don't think we knew when we started this band that we were going to make something unusual. We just thought we were going to play folk music together. And then we realized a few months later, no, we're actually going to do things that, that we have never even heard, never mind that we had never done. Um, Let's experiment. There's, there's, experiment. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain level of trust that you have to achieve when you're working together um, this intimately. And I think that's where we've been successful. I think we're able to pass ideas back and forth and not feel possessive over our ideas or feel like one trumps the other. Um, we can truly work through all that stuff. Sometimes it is a struggle, but we always get we always get there. And we're always um, in a position where we're both happy with, with the end result. But you ask about songwriting together, and it's interesting because when we used to work together, one person was the boss. And so, okay, you, you want to do it that way? That's You're the boss. It's your record. That's fine. And now, now there's no boss. boss. <laughs> so we both have to say, this is good. If she says, this is great, and I say, eh, I don't think so, then we have to either throw it away or fix it. Or do it on your own. Okay, I'll take yeah. this idea for my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you guys still playing uh, like solo or no, no. not anymore? Eh? No, Just so much. The, the, the band. I mean, works at home. Okay, <laughs> and what came first? Like, you guys worked professionally first and then, and then became in love or, or the other way around? Yeah, we worked professionally first. It didn't. It was professional for about a week. And, um, <laughs> but it wasn't, you know, we've been married for seven years now yeah. and it wasn't until uh, two years ago that we decided to form To start the, yeah. the, the band. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, really cool. So, uh, where can people check in? What your plans? Uh, tours this summer that people can. Yeah, we have we have a website. It's whitehorsemusic.ca. Yeah. Um, we have Facebook, Twitter, all that. Um, so you can find all the information there. We're playing festivals all summer. So next week we're going to be at Hillside Festival on the weekend in Guelph, well, Ontario. We're going to be up in Muskoka at Huntsville, I think, on Wednesday. Banff, we have a show. I think Banff is a festival in Banff, and then. Uh, what am I forgetting? There's something else. Uh, oh, harvest. Harvest picnic at the end. I think it's August 31st. Yeah. And that's in Hamilton, Ontario. Actually, it's in Dundas. Okay. With that, Neil, that's Young, where you're based, Neil Young no? and Crazy Hamilton? Horse. Well, Neil we're, Young and Crazy Horse. We're actually based in Toronto, but, but the, uh, Toronto. we made okay. our records yeah. in Hamilton. We, we, okay. we were living in Hamilton when we started the band. So. Steel okay. Town. Steel, Steel Town, town. Steel exactly. Town. Yeah. exactly. Cool. One way streets in Steel Town. Yeah. That's right, Hamilton, right? <laughs> that's true, yeah. And uh, where did you get the name from? Like, what's the name? What, well, what we, does we, it mean? We wanted to, we actually named ourselves after the city of Whitehorse in the Yukon. Yukon, yeah. That's because, what I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually wanted, we wanted... You like that city or what? I like the city. I do yeah. love that city, But it's yeah. mostly, it's mostly that we wanted the name of this band to reflect something Canadian. And we, and I like geography and we tour all the time, so we thought, what if we used to, you know, what if we took a Canadian city? And Winnipeg doesn't make a good name for a band. <laughs> Hamilton, <laughs> Hamilton, that's uh, a good 
of Wales supports a lot of music, don't they? Like, oh, there's yeah. a lot of big music, a lot of bands going down to play. Yeah, right? and, and we were, you know, we they brought us up to play some festivals. It's a beautiful, mysterious part of Canada. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. And a lot of Canadians have never been up there. And it was, we like the idea that, that the, the mystery uh, and the beauty that is evocative of the thought of the city of Whitehorse was also hopefully what our music would be evocative of. I don't know if that's true. And it sounds cool. And it's, <laughs> mostly it just sounds cool. Yeah. Who doesn't like a white horse? It's like a unicorn. Everybody likes those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, 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 exactly. Maybe they don't. Cool. No, thanks guys for the interview. Yeah, uh, Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, check them out. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.